Once again, the beauty of technical analysis is proven. See, I told you 1980 levels are going to be a very strong support for gold. Likewise, silver 2480 levels both precisely achieved the same levels and has bounced back. Does this mean that we are going to stay bullish or is it going to crash again? Which position you should take trading gold and silver today? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis. This is the first update for the day. The next update will be released before the US session. Do watch that also. Let's start. First, we look into gold. Followed with silver. Do watch till the end. Now, look at gold's movement. See, after the drop here, it is retraced, then this drop, then this retracement. So this is still trying to create a bearish channel of its own. And the highs here are at 2005 levels or rather you can say 2000 itself. But I will recommend you to buy only at 2005 and then wait for it to break past 2010. So if it stays above 2010, then only further bullishness will be expected. Then see till 2020, every $5 you have to book profit. So let's say if you are entering at 2000 levels, 2005, 2010, 2015, 2020. These are the four next resistance levels and hence you have to keep booking profits till here. Once it stays above 2020, then only little more bullishness will be observed. Else remember it is trying to trade in this channel, which is a bearish channel. Now look at the stock ISTIC has dropped trying to recover a bit. MACD on the other hand on the early charts have crossed over and trading with divergence. This is indicating bullishness here. RSI is also trying to look upwards and show a little bullishness. Now look at two hour charts. See a couple of rise candles then consolidation. Then this is the first bullish candle here. So we may see a couple or more bullish candles but then 25 or 2005 and 2010 levels these two levels you should watch out for only about 2010 further bullishness can be observed till that rather i will say 2004 and 2008 these are the two next resistance levels beyond that we may see it again hitting 2013.5 and 2015 levels now see stochastic is seen rising here looking up first the macd on the other hand on the two hour charts is trying to converge crossover for a buy entry right now it has completed the journey till here see uh, it was overbought here drop retracement drop now again trying to look upwards so wait for it to cross over and then more bullishness can be seen there rsi trying to look upwards and show a little strength and if you look at triage similar is the observation now see the 20 and 50 period moving average crossing over and trading with divergence certainly 2010 levels are going to be a very strong resistance level and if you look at if you connect the dots this is a bearish channel here highs at around 2004-2008 levels be careful till there stock ISTIC is seen rising MACD is seen converging RSI is also trying to look upwards and show a little strength and on the 4 hour the same retracement here and see now if you want to sell I will recommend you to sell at 1990 and a buy entry at 2000 can be taken however 2004 is the first 2008 is the next and then 2013.5 and then 2020 levels are going to be the next resistance level 2013.5 2015 yes uh, this zone is rather a good resistance zone beyond that 2020 2021 levels will be seen so till 2020 i will not consider this as bullish but this is still you need to book profits at uh, each resistance level because it can reverse any point of time and as i said on the downside if you are selling at 1990 remember 1980 it needs to breach 1980 is a very strong support level i have mentioned it several times in the last few days and i am reiterating it again 1980 is definitely a good support level you have to be watchful of that below that it is going to drop strongly on the downside now also if you look at the four hour chart see one sharp candle retracement then see the candle size here the candle size has diminished here so the possibility of a bounce back also increases once the bearishness diminishes let's see if it breaks past 2010 2015 levels then further bullishness might be seen there a stock ISTIC is seen rising the MACD is seen converging RSI looking up first trading with slight bullish bias now look at the daily now see on the daily chart see the last week's lows are done almost at the same levels gold has seen this bounce back they've seen this recovery and remember the support levels at 1990 are very good so wait for it to breach below 1990 then only you can expect it to drop else see the previous candle was a good swing candle good long wick there good long tail there very small body and a red body and now wait for it to break past uh, 2000 and 2004 levels certainly more bullishness but then 2008 2013.5 so same levels nothing beyond and if you look at the 
stock as ticket bottom the macd is still divergent and bearish and it is still looking down it is still lot much to cover on the downside see it has started to look downside possibly it can try to cover a little more distance rsi is also trying to look up downwards and indicating bearishness considering this sell at 1990 and buy at 2000 levels on the upside till 2020 uh the resistance levels i have already mentioned and on the downside till 1980 then 1985 1980 these are the two support levels till 1980 do not consider this as bearish until 2020 see this 40 dollar zone it has to breach pass by in order to give a clear cut direction till the time it trades in between these levels we have to be cautious and on the downside below 1980 the next strongest support zone is at 1940 1950 levels trade accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss now let's have a look at silver now see silver here also a big sharp red candle consolidation or retracement then couple of red candles then retracement so it is trying to create a bearish channel on its own the resistance level now at 25 20 levels 25 30 levels are going to remain important 25 20 25 uh, see previously you can see here 25 20 was a good support 25 15 25 20 zone now this is also 20 period moving average and hence you have to be watchful till then also remember now 25 dollars are a good support only below 25 or rather i will say 24 95 you can sell there then also if you are selling at 24 95 see multiple candles getting the support at 24 90 and then 24 80 till 24 80 we have to be watchful i will tell you on the daily charts why 24 80 is important stock as tick has dropped macd trying to converge crossover for a buy and this this is attempting for the second time so it can try to reverse a bit rsi also trying to look upwards and show a little strength if you look at two hour charts on the two hour charts you can see see the rise retracement and this bullish candle so it can continue with the bullish momentum for a little while till 25 15 25 30 levels the stock is still seen rising the macd is trying to converge crossover rsi is trying to look upwards and show a little strength and if you look at 3 hr charts on the 3 hr charts see the flat bottom and a greener candle so once it breaks beyond 2510 you can buy but then 25 15 20 zone and then 25 30 levels these two levels it needs to break pass by only reversal confirmation for silver is if it stays above 25 50 levels now the stock has ticket bottom trying to recover macd is bearish really trying to converge rsi is almost trading flat here and if you look at 4 hr chart Now see on the four hour charts also it has created a step and it is trying to rise away. Wait for it to stay above twenty five ten. Then also till twenty five fifteen, twenty five thirty, the next resistance level you have to be watchful. Only reversal confirmation is if silver trades above twenty five fifty. I am reconfirming these levels again and again because all the charts should speak the same language. The stock has ticket bottom here. The MACD is bearish and it is looking forward to converge. Right now it is on the bearish side and RSI is almost trading flat. Now look at the daily chart. See, firstly on the daily chart, the twenty fifty hundred hundred period moving average now started to flatten out. See, these were trading with divergence; they have started to flatten out. I have always maintained that. See, mostly it uh, the more it diverges from the twenty period moving average, the more are the chances that it is going to converge till here and now. It is situated at around twenty four fifty level. Now also look at this. See the candle size here and here. Body size has diminished here. The bearishness is getting diminished. So see the you can also see it is trying to trade in this channel. So the drop is done and now trying to. So till uh, yes you can buy twenty five ten, but then twenty five fifteen, twenty five thirty, and then twenty five fifty. These three levels you should watch out for. Once it stays above twenty five fifty, then only consider that it has reversed. Else it can. it can drop again any point of time now see 2480 why 2480 is important you can see the consolidation here and the support here multiple candles getting rejected at 2480 this was the time when the previous rise has started and it has achieved the same levels because below 2480 the next target is directly till towards 2450 and below that 24 dollar so for the day between 2490 or rather i'll say 2490 uh, and 2510 levels for this 20 cents do not take any position in sell those who wants to take a position rather you can sell at 2495 but then 2480 till 2480 be extremely cautious it is still risky it can it is still bounce back till 2480 levels forming a double bottom and it, we can see a recovery till then so be cautious of 2480 levels only if it breaches below 2480 we can consider this as bearish till the time you have to be watchful with your positions yes you, you can sell here at 2495 itself 15 cents it will always fetch you but then be alert as it can bounce back also on the upside you can buy here at 25 10 levels but then 
till 25.30, 25.50, extremely cautious and alert you need to be. Take your trades accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a tailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment, join my mentorship batch and signals channel. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.